Hi, I'm Kristen. Today I want to show you how um, I built this recipe book and how I finally got my menu planning system figured out. So if you eat food and you also want to see how I'm planning meals a month in advance, um, make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Okay, so this sheet was such a surprise to me um, because I posted it on Instagram and so many people like really liked it and I was kind of like, okay, this was like the least planned out thing. One night I was trying to plan my menu for the month and I was like, what on earth do we even want to eat? Like. I know I've cooked things we've liked and why can't I think of anything? And so I like asked my family like, hey, when I cook things like that you like, can you remember any of them? Like, what do you want me to cook again? And of course, nobody had any answers. And so I had to kind of go and jog my memory of everything that we normally like. I had to look at all my bookmarks and some of my favorite blogs and things where I find recipes. And I just made a list and I based it on the kinds of meats I usually have in my freezer so that I could, you know, when I was planning my menu, I could say, oh, I have, I have a, a bunch of chicken breast I need to use up. So here's all the chicken recipes, right? And then I put these tiny little planner Kate stickers on there so that I would know if it was like an instant pot or a crock pot meal, something like simple. And anyhow, I wrote this out like at night one night and then I posted it on Instagram the next day. No, I don't even know if it was the next day. It was just, I was looking for something to post in my camera roll and I was like, oh, here we go. I can post this. And everybody kind of loved it. I was like, it was one of my most liked pictures. Um, it's super weird to me because I didn't, it wasn't like this big, well thought out thing. I put this little tab here I made out of washi. I just used like random leftover stickers I had in my stash. And anyhow, it worked out and everybody liked it. So um, the next step after making this list was always to organize my recipes. And so I'm gonna move this out of the way cause it's kind of not really pertinent anymore. Um, and just to kind of make room here. So I went ahead and figured out that all the recipes that I have, I was using my phone and I just had them bookmarked and anytime I would want to make something, I had to pull it up on my phone and kind of prop my phone up and the screen would always shut off while I was in the middle of doing something. It was so irritating and so I knew I needed a better system. And um, a lot of places have like really gorgeous like recipe binders and Erin Condren even has like a coiled like book kind of like this that you can add recipes to. But you know, I'm not gonna rewrite every single recipe. Like I just, I'm not, I'm not, that's not my, that's not me. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well a binder would be great. Um, but binders don't like they're big you have to keep them open well then i remembered that these exist this is from mead it's a five star um, i kept this so i could show you what it was called it is called a hybrid note binder and it's literally like a binder that you can open these rings and put sheets of paper or dividers or anything you want but you can flip it Right, so if I wanna make something, I just open to the recipe I want and I can sit it up on a, like a, I have a cookbook stand. And, and then it just stays open. And the other thing that I like about it is that I can move things around or add things. One of my original ideas was that when I plan my menu, I would take all the recipes um, that I was gonna make for that entire month and put them in like chronological order, like at the front of the book. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen now. This, as much as this is convenient, it's once it's full, it's not really that convenient because things pop off and um, anyway, I'm not gonna do that, but I do have the dividers um, listed the same way I did on that note sheet by like the main protein, just because that's how I plan my menus. Some people might want to do it like by cooking time or cooking method or whatever, but this, this is what works for me. So um, 
when I plan the menu, here, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. This, these are recipes I just needed to put in the book. So I'm gonna move those out of the way for now too. Um, let's look at how I plan the menu. So let me open up to my August meal plan. So I have all the meals planned for the month of August on my August calendar here. I wanna use the new Erin Condren Family Organizer book. I'm gonna use the, the monthly page for that as a menu plan, and I'm gonna keep that open on my um, cookbook stand in the kitchen because that's just, I don't know, that just makes sense to me. For now, I don't have that yet. I literally ordered it this morning, the morning that I'm filming this, and it's not even gonna ship until like the second week of August. So um, you're watching this video. Well, this video is live on Wednesday the 3rd, I believe, and I, it still won't even have shipped by then. So um, hopefully whenever I plan my menu for September, I will have it and I'll show you how I do it. But anyway, in here, I have just written down everything we're making, taking into consideration things that are going on. Um, like I didn't have to plan anything for this night because it's a, a school function and they're serving hot dogs there. So I don't have a, a meal written there. And then um, there are things that are going on that I know what they mean and so I am able to make certain meals on those days. And then school starts this day, so I knew going this day forward, I was gonna want like more crock pot meals and instant pot meals or make ahead meals because we have after school activities like every day of the week. And so I just knew if, to keep with my goals of cooking most of our meals at home that I was gonna have to have food figured out. And so I picked most of the crock pot meals and instant pot meals and make ahead meals to put um, t you know, on this half of the month. So now I can go through and show you that like, on like certain nights I have written like okay we're gonna have Korean beef bowls I will just go to the beef tab find the recipe I'm looking for and what's great about this is like I can just print this off it's I try to like change the size of it to keep everything on one page so that I don't have to flip through anything while I'm cooking it's just a piece of printer paper so I can make notes all over it um, I can cross things out that don't work Basically, all of these recipes that are in here in the sheet protectors are things I've made before. And so all the notes that I had in my phone or whatever, I transfer them to this when I printed it out. And then that way I have it. Um, like this recipe, for example, is not, this is actually a side dish recipe just for taco rice. But when I made it, I decided to add taco meat to it. Um, and so it's basically like a one dish meal. And so I put my notes here on how I did that so that I would remember to do that again. Um, I have like freezing and like pre-making notes. I have like, okay, here's tater tot casserole or sorry if you're from Minnesota, tater tot hot dish. Um, I'm from the South and the person who taught me or who introduced me to tater tot casserole as a child was from Minnesota and they called it tater tot casserole. And so, sorry, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, these are like the notes that I have made. Um, this is important, like we pre-cook all our tater tots in the air fryer so that they're crispy and then you don't, they, they never get crispy in the oven. So I don't know. I don't know, if, I just lost my pen. I don't know if it's an, uh, my oven thing or what, but we cook the tater tots in the air fryer before we put them on the top of the casserole. Anyway, that's like irrelevant. Um, but I just have all my notes that are necessary for whenever I um, am cooking. And then um, what I am also doing here is, these are recipes that I haven't tried yet. So there's a couple in here in this pocket. These dividers came with the, the binder. And so what I'm doing is putting any of the things that I haven't tried yet but want to, putting them in here. 
And then that way, as I'm cooking them, I can make any notes on them, or I can just throw this away if this recipe was terrible. Um, and then if we liked it, I can add it to the empty sheet protectors I have in here. Yes, I can add more later, but I just figured this is like four recipes worth, and we're really only trying like three or four new recipes a month anyways. So um, I have extras in each section for that reason. Um, so the first two dividers in this book are these like big, thick, um, they have like little extra pockets here that you can put things in and um, those are that way. And then the, the last three are more just like a page protector situation like this. So I can still add them there. It's just a little bit different. I cannot find more of the style divider anywhere without buying another one of these binders, which is unfortunate because I do want more of these tabs. I purchased some just like regular dividers and they don't stick out far enough to see with the page protectors. These are the only ones I can find like that. Um, so I do want more so that I can put things like the recipes I had out here earlier. Those are just like cookie recipes. Um, so things like that that don't fall in my dinner categories, I would like to have like a separate section for that. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how I come up with the meal plan. Um, I have this little like cheat sheet here and it's all scratched out. I want to make a nicer one. Um, that's what this is for. Uh, this is just a piece of note paper that I laminated and punched that I can put in here. Um, and I want to do something like that where I write like on Mondays it's like a mostly meatless meal. Tuesdays is chicken. Wednesday is beef. Thursday is either seafood or sausage. Friday is always fend for yourself. Saturday is always pizza. And Sunday is like comfort food or new recipes or something that just takes a little bit longer. Um, so that way when I'm looking through and I'm like, okay, what are we having for dinner this day? I can just go to the whole section, like if I'm on a Wednesday, you know, when I'm going through and planning the menu out, I can say, okay, these are all beef recipes. And I can just go down, flip through the book, find something we haven't had in a while or something we want again or whatever, and then just say, okay, let's do that one, let's do that one, you know, let's do that one. Um, the next thing that I wanna do in here, the next like upgrade is I think I wanna take, get some stickers um, just like I did on that notes page and put stickers in like the top right corner or something on each of the recipes so that I can easily see that it's like an instant pot meal um, or a crock pot meal or something that is like freezable or whatever. I don't know yet. I, can't, I haven't found stickers anywhere yet. They're, they're all like the same style for like, like if it's fast or if it's an instant pot meal or if it's like a freezer meal. I'd like a little snowflake. Um, I don't know, I kind of have an idea, but I haven't found a shop that has like the same look for what I'm looking for quite yet. Um, so yeah, that's how I kind of just go through and see what we can make. Um, and I did have here, it says meatless. Um, and then of course the first recipe has bacon in it. So obviously that's not meatless, but really I just couldn't fit mostly meatless on my tab. And um, so yeah, we'll do like bacon or sometimes like in this like bean soup, for example, I usually add like a ham hock or a ham bone or something from my freezer just to give it some more flavor. So yes, it's not meatless, but you know, that's how we eat and that's fine. Um, so let me think if there's anything else I need to add to this video to explain. These are just some notes. Um, this is another thing. I think I'm gonna get like another kind of pocket folder or something just for little notes um, and like just things that I need to jot down and things like ideas. Um, so like this, I, I made this note and I don't even know what it is. So obviously I need to do better notes. Um, Jen Chapin, I watch a lot of her YouTube videos and I think she must have shown a chicken and rice soup 
and I was in the middle of something and didn't actually go print out the recipe or look to see if there was a, I don't know, maybe I just need to find that video again and that's what this was about. Um, I had a thought about how I need to make a bunch of breakfast tacos to put in the freezer and just wrote like the ingredients that we like in breakfast tacos. And then these were from a book I was reading or this was from um, the $5 dinners one dish book and it was just kind of like a little cheat sheet of how to make things like one dish like that for every 12 ounces of uncooked pasta you need two cups of liquid and then for every one cup of uncooked rice you need two cups of liquid that kind of thing and then when to add rice and pasta into your crock pot so that if finishes cooking by the end of the cooking time those were just some notes I took and that is pertinent to this. These are just some seasoning blend recipes. And so these are things that I need to transfer somehow into this system a little better. And then um, the other thing I still need to do is I need to type out like no recipe meals. So things like, um, like we do poke bowls a lot and so that would go under seafood but i don't have a recipe for that that's just i know what we like in our poke bowls or our sushi bowls and then i just make that stuff and put it together so like i kind of need like a little reference sheet for things like that that don't actually have like recipes that i printed out from the internet and um so that is something else i need to add to a sheet protector and um yeah this is just a vinyl that I cut on my Cricut and yes I know it's not centered I was trying to cover up that says five star here and I guess I mismeasured I don't know it's not a big deal I'm not gonna recut and it's fine this works um, I would have preferred this be like different colors like I'm, it, the contrast bothers me a little bit but I mean, this is really the only book that I can find that does this. Um, and so I thought about using like a disc bound system, but then I would have to buy a punch and then I would have, to, I don't think they make page protectors. And if they do, they'd probably be expensive. And I wanted it to be like protected from splatters and stuff. So honestly, this book cost, this was $5.99 at Target. Um, I'm going to link it um, right now. The like as of today when I'm filming this, it's online price is $9.99, but when I bought it in the store, it was only $5.99. So that's a pretty big difference. Um, on Amazon, it's a lot more expensive, but I'm gonna go ahead and link it just so you can see what it is, or maybe that's just the only place you can get it if you wanna do this. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else I can add to this. I do wanna keep, I'm gonna, um, I can do an updated video maybe by September when I get the family organizer book from Erin Condren and I plan the menu in there. I can show you how I make the grocery list and how I do like all the shopping for the month. Um, the main stuff, of course, I have to get like more milk and fresh produce and whatnot throughout the month, but I think the main stuff um, in September's video will kind of go over how I do that and how I meal prep things in advance. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's all I've got. Um, I can show you the upgrades to the book as I go and just kind of give you an update on how it's working after like a full month of cooking every single night. So um, yeah, if that sounds interesting, let me know and I will definitely make sure that gets on the schedule. I, as of now, I, I'm pretty sure that I want to film that video, but just kind of like, I don't know, leave me a comment justifying it for me just so I can make sure it gets done. So that is gonna be it for me. Um, if you like these kind of videos, I'm trying to incorporate more than just plan with me videos. I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So um, there will always be plan with me videos, but there's gonna be a little more lifestyle stuff too because that's my life and that's what I like to watch on YouTube. So those are the kind of videos I wanna start making as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.